Welcome, my name is Jonathan, and today I'll try to change the way you think about linear solvers. Linear systems in machine learning are typically large scale. They have characteristic structure which arises from generative processes, and they may be subject to noise. Think, for example, of a prediction model, a regression model, where you have a very large parameter space, such as in deep learning. Then, if you do second order optimization, the Hessian matrix has a dimension of the parameter space. Or in kernel methods, the kernel actually induces certain spectral properties of the gram matrix arising from the kernel. Ideally, we would like to make use of this generative information. And sometimes in empirical risk minimization, if you do batched optimization, the Hessian evaluations will be subject to subsampling noise. In this work, we introduce a so-called probabilistic linear solver, which is a linear solver that treats the task of solving the linear system as an inference problem. So we proceed by putting a prior on either the matrix or the inverse, and this is how generative information about the matrix enters the solver. And then we collect matrix vector product observations iteratively. You don't actually need to form the full matrix in memory, it suffices if you can multiply with A. That then results in a posterior distribution over the matrix, whose mean is typically simple matrix plus low rank, a posterior distribution over the inverse, and over the solution. Now, under certain assumptions on the covariance class that you use for this solver, you can actually recover the method of conjugate gradients, which is state of the art for these types of very large scale linear systems. And we also obtain the same complexity class in time and space. Now, one primary shortcoming of these types of probabilistic linear solvers is that they're typically miscalibrated, meaning that they don't faithfully represent the error to the true solution in their uncertainty. We began by outlining a set of first principles for these types of solvers and then derived a covariance class for, from them, which fulfilled as many properties as possible. Now, it turns out that this covariance class still has degrees of freedom which are analogous to hyperparameters in a kernel, for example, in Gaussian process regression. And you can use these degrees of freedom for uncertainty calibration. And in this work, we show how you can use either prior spectral information to do this or actually use already collected quantities during a run of the algorithm to calibrate uncertainty. Probabilistic linear solvers are an instance of a larger class of methods, so-called probabilistic numerical methods. Such methods treat numerical tasks as inference problems. This has multiple benefits, such as encoding structure, as we do here as well, or treating parameters of a numerical methods from a principled probabilistic perspective. Now, this solver is implemented as part of a larger framework that implements such probabilistic numerical methods called problem. And in the future, we aim to use this solver for things like Galakian methods for discretizations of partial differential equations or for empirical risk minimization problems where noise plays a role. So in summary, linear systems and machine learning are large scale and have characteristic structure which arises from generative processes. This type of generative information can be encoded in the prior of a probabilistic linear solver, which then, after a certain number of iterations, usually much smaller than the theoretical convergence rate of these methods, outputs a posterior over the solution, which in its uncertainty encodes the remaining numerical uncertainty about the solution because of the finite number of iterations, smaller than the typical convergence rate. You can find the paper on archive. You can check out our experiments and reproduce them on GitHub or check out Problem, the code repository where the method is implemented. Thank you.